So, Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard has just updated his analysis of 3i Atlas. And honestly, what changed in his assessment is more revealing than what stayed the same. Because between October 29th, when he first flagged anomalies, and now, in late December, the number of strange behaviors he's documenting has nearly doubled. On December 23rd, Loeb published a new update revealing something critical about his classification system. Back in July 2025, when 3i Atlas was first discovered, he ranked it as a 4 on what he calls the Loeb scale. That's a ranking system that runs from 0 for natural objects to 10 for confirmed alien technology. A ranking of 4 means unusual, but likely natural. Now, here's what's fascinating. When reporters recently asked him to update that ranking after the December 19th closest approach to Earth, he declined. And let me walk you through why that refusal is actually significant. The first thing Loeb explained is that his classification system is designed to evolve as new data comes in. He published two peer-reviewed papers establishing this quantitative framework, and just a week ago, he expanded it with a new formalism that shows how rankings should change as fresh observations arrive. But instead of rushing to revise the score, Loeb said he's waiting. Specifically, he's waiting for data from the period around closest approach to be publicly released and fully analyzed. And he doesn't expect that analysis to conclude before March 16, 2026, when 3i Atlas passes closest to Jupiter. Now, you might think, okay, he's just being cautious. But here's where it gets interesting. The number of anomalies he's tracking has grown from 8 to 15. Back on October 29th, Loeb flagged eight unusual behaviors. By late December, that list had grown to 15 distinct anomalies. That's not measurement error. Those are new observations revealing new patterns that don't fit natural comet models. So, what are these new anomalies he's documenting? Let me break down the most recent ones he's emphasized. The first major update involves the dust particle size and the anti-tail. Loeb published new calculations on December 24th, showing that the particles being shed must be much larger than typical comet dust. Normal comet dust is about one micron in radius, tiny. These particles scatter sunlight efficiently and get pushed away by solar radiation pressure. But the anti-tail of 3i Atlas extends roughly 400,000 kilometers toward the sun. For particles to reach that distance before solar radiation pressure stops them, they must be much larger than one micron. But they also must be much smaller than 100 microns. Because if they were too large, the outflowing gas wouldn't be able to drag them fast enough to produce the observed jet speed. So the dust must fall within this narrow size range, between 1 and 100 microns. That's a very specific constraint, and it tells us something important about the mechanism releasing these particles. The second new anomaly involves the rotation axis alignment. A December paper by Sarah Ricard and colleagues detected a periodic wobble in the anti-tail with a period of 7.74 hours. That wobble reveals that the jet base is offset by less than eight degrees from the rotation axis poles. Now, here's why that matters. At large distances from the sun, before perihelion, the rotation axis of 3i Atlas was nearly aligned with the sunward direction. That meant one pole constantly faced the sun, while the other remained in perpetual darkness. After perihelion, when 3i Atlas swung around the sun and its trajectory was deflected by 16 degrees, the rotation axis should have changed orientation, but it didn't. The anti-tail jet remained aligned with the new sunward direction. Loeb calls this the 14th anomaly, because maintaining that alignment through a 16-degree gravitational deflection requires either an extremely unlikely coincidence or some mechanism actively reorienting the nucleus. The third update involves the mass estimate. On December 23rd, Loeb highlighted new calculations that combine non-gravitational acceleration, data with mass loss rates. The result is a nucleus diameter of about one kilometer. That's significantly smaller than earlier estimates, which suggested a diameter closer to five kilometers. But here's the puzzle. If the nucleus is only one kilometer across, it should be much less massive. And less mass means the jets should push it around more dramatically. But the observed trajectory shows steady, controlled acceleration, not wild swings. That discrepancy suggests either the density is higher than expected, or the internal structure is distributing mass in an unusual, asymmetric way. 
The fourth significant update concerns the Loeb scale itself. In a recent interview, Loeb was asked to clarify his position on the nature of 3i Atlas. He repeated what he's been saying since July, that 3i Atlas is most likely a natural object. But he also emphasized why he continues to document these anomalies. His exact wording focused on taking the technological interpretation seriously because of the possibility of a black swan event. Low probability, but enormous implications. Here's what makes Loeb's approach different from most scientists. He's not saying 3i Atlas is alien technology. He's saying we can't dismiss the possibility simply because it's unlikely. And he's systematically documenting every behavior that fails to match standard comet models. That documentation matters because it establishes a baseline. When the next interstellar visitor arrives, we'll have 3i Atlas as a reference point. We'll know which kinds of anomalies can still arise from natural processes and which ones truly resist explanation. The bottom line is this. Between October and December 2025, the number of documented anomalies nearly doubled. The dust particle constraints became tighter. The rotation axis alignment puzzle became sharper. And the mass estimate was revised downward, creating new discrepancies. And through all of this, Loeb is still waiting for more data before updating his classification score. That tells you something important. He's not rushing to conclusions. He's building a comprehensive data set that can withstand scrutiny, regardless of what 3i Atlas ultimately turns out to be. What makes this especially significant is that we're now past closest approach. The observation window is closing. By February 2026, amateur telescopes will lose sight of the object entirely. And by March, when it passes Jupiter, only professional observatories will be able to continue tracking it. So, the data being collected right now, in late December 2025 and early January 2026, represents the final set of high-quality observations we're likely to get. And Loeb is waiting for that complete data set to be processed before making any definitive revisions to his analysis. That patience, that methodical approach, is what separates serious scientific inquiry from sensationalism. He's not declaring 3i Atlas alien. He's not insisting it's definitely natural. He's saying, here are 15 behaviors that don't match our models. Let's document them carefully and figure out what they actually mean. Leave a comment with your thoughts on Loeb's approach. Let me know where you're watching from and what time it is there. And please drop a like if you found this analysis update valuable. God bless you.